Cheese Puff Hero. Hey guys, Cheese Puff here, back with another video. Now, a lot of you might be wondering about Minecraft mod packs in uh, Feed the Beast. You know, that collection of mod packs that everybody loves so much. Now, I know a lot of players of, um, of vanilla that are either intimidated by the complexity of the mod packs or they just started and they got overwhelmed or they don't know where to start at all. So I'm going to be making some simple videos to guide them. Now, these, uh, this video here, this one is about basic power generation with parts from the thermal expansion mod, which produces RF type power. RF power is also used by many other machines, as I'll show in other videos. Now, the things with the white wood behind them, those are a special second step that you can do extra to make your power system even more robust. But for the basic power system, it's the things with the gray planks. Now, starting off right away here is the redstone transmission coil. Uh, intimidating name, but it's probably one of the most simple recipes there is. Silver ingot that you get from mining, and two redstone, you get the coil. Now, I'm going to start from left to right, but the coil actually goes into a later machine. But let's just do it this way. You make the coil, the copper gear, now it could not get much more simple than that to build a copper gear. You do need to build two of them to make the power generation work. And then we have the same thing, a tin gear. Just four tin surrounding one iron. Just like the four copper were surrounding that one. Uh, we'll skip that for now. A pneumatic servo, those are pretty easy to build. You need one piece of redstone, two glass, an iron, and another iron, and you get the servo. Then this this uh, this part here you'll be building a lot of because it's used in many machines it is the machine frame one tin gear which is what you need the gear over there for before four iron and four glass it seems like a simple recipe because it is and it's a basic ingredient in almost all machines now flux ducts are like your your wires your cables they carry power if you remember older videos they used to be called you know you'd get the redstone energy conduit well now it is the flux duct uh, in 1.7.10 anyway those are made with two lead six redstone and a piece of glass and that makes six cables which is basically all you need for a basic setup now the final three machines or the final two I guess the cable is one that you need a lot of the dynamo and then the accumulator now the dynamo is what's going to be generating your power. It is the two copper gears, the transmission coil, three copper ingots, and a redstone. And it makes this. Now if you uh, press shift here, you get the, the information. It generates energy. It is like a steam generator, right? Pretty cool. Now this machine is remarkable. I love it. It is the, uh, it's a machine that will basically function as an infinite water source that you can pipe into pipes. If you take this, it is made with a, a bucket, two glass, two more copper gears, and a pneumatic servo and a machine frame. Sorry, I think I said you need two copper gears earlier, you actually need four. But um, yes. Now you take this and you put it in here like that, surrounded by water, and then it fills up its tank. Now you have these output ports that are orange and it will automatically output water to whatever side has a port on it and these can be configured, you can take them away, add them more, top, bottom, whatever. But this is currently shoving water up into the steam dynamo. Now the steam dynamo, unless you're pumping in hot steam already, functions as a basic coal, charcoal, wood, whatever goes in a furnace generator. Now you see I am putting the coal in, it'll fill up with steam, and then it'll start generating power. The, uh, yeah, so that's nice. Now, there's another step which you get by making a, first, a redstone conductance coil. It's two redstone and an electrum ingot. Uh, we'll talk about electrum later. Then you get the redstone energy cell frame. Now a block of redstone, four lead ingots, four glass. 
pretty basic. And then those two items that you crafted previously combine with some copper to make the finished red leadstone energy cell. Now the energy cell, it goes up here, which is obvious. It's got the power from the dynamo, which is generating power at an alarming rate, pumping, uh, pumping into it like that. Now I need to configure it properly. There we go. The blue is the input on these cells. Now as you can see, it is filling up with a startling amount of power coming straight out of the dynamo here. And the dynamo is just ejecting all of its power at once. And actually fills up this progress bar on the side. Now this power stored in a battery like this is really useful and you can power all of your machines with it. Uh, in most games that I do, I only use one steam dynamo for almost the entire game until I get into the really late game stuff and I have to start building better engines. But steam dynamos are a very good early game option. Probably the only good early game option in uh, thermal expansion. Now, the total amount of material required to produce all of this stuff, I have it in these chests. To make everything with the gray wood, you need one bucket, nine glass, 11 iron, 19 copper, 2 lead, 4 tin, 1 silver, and 10 redstone. All of which, except for these two, obviously, can be mined out of the ground and smelted. Now, the special parts here, to make a battery to store all that power, you will have to get Electrum. Now, Electrum is made by combining... It's an alloy of gold and silver. Now, the problem with that is that you need to make this electrum blend by crafting a gold dust and a silver dust together in a crafting table. But to get the dusts, you need another machine called a pulverizer, which runs on your power. So when you first start building your power, you cannot straight away build a battery. You build your power system, build a pulverizer and hook that up, make some electrum, and then you build the battery. And the rest of the components are three copper, one redstone block, four lead, four glass, the electrum as we talked about, and the two redstone. Now in the next video, we'll be talking about the basic machines that you get in uh, Thermal Expansion, including the aforementioned pulverizer. So stay tuned for that. This has been Cheese Buff, and have a great day.